Welcome to this edition of Water Drops. Today we're going to be looking at scaling and sharing domain knowledge with Info360. We're going to be focusing on the templatization of analytics. I was really excited about cutting this workflow video because I think this feature within Info360 really allows consultants and municipalities alike to leverage the internal and external industry knowledge, um, allowing the tools to be in the hands of the experts and allowing that knowledge to get to more people. And so who is this for? I've provided a couple of examples, but really to boil it down, this is for anyone that is performing manual data analysis, having to do manual data downloads and data manipulations, or anyone that's trying to build out their analytics toolbox. So the workflow we're gonna be looking at today is creating an analytic, sharing that analytic, and then really adding it to build and access the analytic toolbox. So now that we've gone through the workflow, we'll go ahead and hop into the software. So today we're gonna to be working in Info360 Insight. And as you can see here, this is what we're trying to get to. This is a place where you can store all the templates for your analytics and really can start building out an analytics toolbox. A place where you can save, store, and share analytics that have been created both within your organization or in the case of maybe a consultant working with multiple utilities outside your organization, uh, a way that you can really build this out and try and cut back on having to do a lot of rework. In previous water drops and even in a blog post that recently came out on our One Water blog, if you want to take a look at that, uh, we discussed how to create these analytics and why that's important. Um, but today we're really going to be concentrating on the templatization of those analytics. So now in Info360 Insight, we're going to go to Tools and then Analytic, and this is going to bring up a list of our analytics that we've already created. We're going to go into the Purple Town Leak Detection, which is the analytic we want to use in order to create the template for our toolbox. When we open the analytic and go to Configure, we're going to see that we have a collection of inputs and outputs that string together. Our final output that we're trying to get to is leak detected. So we're using an if then statement uh, saying if the minimum nightly flow is over an upper threshold that we created, give it a one, if not a zero. So this is going to help us use minimum nightly flow to indicate a possible leak. If you want more information on creating these analytics, you can go to our help file or the blog post referenced earlier in this video. So really the two inputs that we're using to get to that final output is the minimum nightly flow, which comes from our ILI, and the alpha, which is 1.25, using that for our upper threshold. So now we can come over to the dropdown, save as template, and we're going to give this a name. You can add a description. You can also tie a system type to the analytic and decide if you want to share it externally and internally. We're going to go ahead and share it externally to share with all of the users. We're going to give us an authorization and then we can press share. And as we can see, now the analytic is saved. So now we'll go back to our tools, open up the analytics, and we're going to create a new analytic using that template that we just created. So we'll add a new analytic and this is where it brings you to a new screen where previously it would just bring you to the analytic and you would start creating it from a blank canvas. This is going to allow you to choose that option, but it's also going to bring up the different templates that have been created. So if you wanted to look at your pump operating range, tank turnover, different analytics, um, different templates that have been created previously. As you can see, it also adds a name to who created it, as well as a description in the name of the analytics. So we're going to go ahead and come over to the minimum nightly flow leak detection that we created. And when we double click, it's going to ask us for a name for the analytic that we are creating. 
a description and then we'll choose a time. So now, as you can see, it brings us to the analytics screen, but instead of it being blank, it has all of the information that we saw for the previous analytic that was used to create this template. So if we go to the output and we edit, we can see it holds the same formula that was there before. So this has saved us a lot of time in having to go in, create all of these different outputs, and the final output in order to get us to the value that we're looking for. All that work has been done for us. So now all we need to do is choose our data sources. So if you remember, we're gonna to go to the ILI and look at a flow rate, and then whatever we want that alpha to be. In this case, we'll keep the 1.25. And now all of the information has been brought in and we're ready to calculate. And now that this is done calculating, we can go ahead and zoom into the month and a half we were looking at. <clears throat> and as we can see, uh, the areas where a leak might be detected is where the minimum nightly flow jumps above the threshold that we established. So now by using the templated analytic, we really just had to choose two sections and this analytic was created for us. We no longer had to go in and type the formula, choose the functions. It was that simple, more of a point and click, just an easier, more efficient way of creating this analytic. Now that we've talked about the workflow and gone through it, I hope you can see some of the benefits. Really the major one being just trying to improve collaboration across teams internally or externally, really trying to put the tools in the hands of the experts and trying to leverage and build out that industry knowledge. We're really trying to eliminate the need for manual data manipulation, having to re-enter the same equation multiple times, uh, leveraging the ability to have no code analytics. You're no longer having to have a coding background or a ton of manual calculations in order to pull out these KPIs. We hope you enjoyed this water drops and we look forward to seeing you next time.